here to do. He's got bills to pay and <laughs> sets to win tonight, but not if Paper has anything to say about it. Yeah, of course, you know, Paper been in SoCal playing the 2D character for about as long as I've known him, which extends all the way back into Brawl. Yeah, he's definitely a character loyalist, true and true. He's been here, stuck it out with Game & Watch. But, I mean, Razo, known for his Peach and Four, known for his Daisy and Peach in this game, it's gonna be an exciting match. Yeah, let's see what, I'm, gonna, I'm more curious about what Paper's gonna bring to the table. But let's see what Daisy and Razo had to say about it. Of course, already starting with the cooking, making some of those pancakes and bacon. And ooh, getting a good conversion off that throw. All right, Razo starting off with the turnip pole, trying to get something, goes for the grab, but Paper going to up the out. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's a that's just a mix-up that we're going to be seeing a lot from Paper. Yeah. Game watches love to just abuse the invulnerability on the startup at the up B. So that's just like the ejection button, get me out of here option that we just can see over and over. Me. Yeah, get out of here. Get away from me. I don't know you. That's my purse. I, right now, though, great stuff from Paper zoning out. Razo with these disjointed hitboxes. Tries for the down stretch, but he doesn't get the sweet spot to bury him. Instead, it's going to send straight up, not going to find the stock because of it. Mm -hmm. Even dropping a forward air bomb right in front of him. Oh, using the bomb to try and get a little bit more uh, movement to make him get back to the stage. But as you can see, he's running up shielding and then using the ejection button to put a little bit of pressure on Razo's shield for free. Yeah, but we're seeing Razo actually go for the auto-canceled side beast, so he's able to punish every time Mr. Game & Watch is trying to use his chef. Okay, there's another down smash, and we're going to see a trade. Wow, both players getting sent across the stage. Now Razo fishing, trying to really uh, shark out the landing. A couple of pummels and the oh. down smash to cover the roll. Very smart. What a move from Paper right there. Taking the first stock, great idea. Yeah, but ooh, Paper, just like the name implies, is, is extremely light. He's getting sent across stage at 160%. A lot of options that Razo has uh, access to to take the stock. Yeah, Paper living to 193 with a great tech right there on the turnip. Now he's got a grab of his own, starring up a combo, looks for the down throw into the nine, but he doesn't find it. Mm -hmm. Okay, putting up a little bit of food. Oh, wow, dash attack, that's right. Dash attack from the princesses uh, do kill. I mean, at 200, I, think they I would work hope now. everything she has kills. That's true. Yeah, Paper doing a good job of just making it difficult for Razo to find any hit that matters. However, Razo has found an opening and now he has a percent lead. Down throw into the near for, Razo, uh, for Paper rather is gonna put him back into this game. Yeah, just good bread and butter is gonna attack on that easy damage. Or as you can see, Razo trying to just fish, cover the ledge with the down air and just continues to ledge trap Paper over and over. But ooh, getting baited in thinking that uh, Raza was thinking that he could punish the down B. And now we see Paper with the stage control and the ledge traps. All right, goes for the forward but he doesn't fight. Side B, zone breaking tool there for Raza. Tries to throw the turnips at him, but instead just catches the jump fair with the fair of his own. That's going to be the lead going in favor of Raza. That's right, the crown's so good, but we see up B into up air. Oh, gets the grounded animation. That's gonna be the fire stick and you're out of here. Yeah, and Tom Smash is so huge for a game to watch in this game. That's one of his biggest like buffs, I would say, in this game. Yeah, the fact that the tippers have hitboxes now um, is pretty ridiculous. And I think the tips are, are where it grounds, right? I believe so. Okay, good combo from Razo, just getting a a lot of peach, uh, or a lot of turnip conversions. Yeah, and we actually see him trying to throw the turnip down there to stop Mr. Game & Watch's recovery, but it has invincibility on it, so it's actually just going straight through the turnip. Mm. Okay, setting up a little bit of projectiles and catching the approach with the nair. Oh, there's the grab into nair. Want, uh, paper landing with the back air, forcing Razo away, s using the chef saying, please tr stop trying to approach me. I'm throwing out a lot of down smashes too. If he, it's a really good option from Paper because like you said, it's very wide. It can catch Razo in the air. And if Razo is just happened to be canceling his flow oh. landing, just There's like that. 
And that does it. Paper taking game one here. Yeah, and that's what I was saying. You know, it's so wide, so it can cover up a lot of space. If Razo does, in fact, cancel his float within the danger zone, he can get grounded, and then uh, Paper can just take the game. Yeah, that's it's got so much range on it, too. There's a huge bubble around Game & Watch where you just can't be standing. Yeah, but, you know, Razo doesn't need to approach standing. He can just throw turnips. <laughs> He's got yeah, all the turnips in the world. <laughs> Game & Watch's bucket now does reflect projectiles, if I'm not mistaken. It does, but at the same time, I mean, if you just... Razo is, like, proficient enough with these princesses that he can be approaching with turnip in hand. So just having the threat of the turnip should be enough for Paper to really pull back on using so down smash so much. Let's see where the counter pick is going to be. Razo thinking long and hard. Ooh, yeah, let's do random. Random school. Now it looks like it's going to be Kalos Pokemon League here. Oh, Very high random. ceiling. Should have done random. Like a man. No, but it is going to be Kalos here. That's right, Carlos. Gonna make it interesting uh, choice from Razo. Yeah, very large stage in general, very high blast zone. It's gonna be difficult to get a kill off the top for Paper. You know, it's going to kind of make his up smash a little bit weaker in this matchup. Whereas Razo generally is killing off the side with things like his forward air, his side B, his back air. Mm -hmm. Yeah, true, but with those grounded animations, it really doesn't matter where you are on the stage. Paper's going to have access to something. Yeah. Ooh. I, turnip's coming out for Raza, taking a page from your book. It sounds like where he's just trying to force Paper to approach him. But it looks like that's not a good thing for him. Maybe he doesn't want Paper to approach either because he gets in with that Nair and gets 80 damage onto Raza. No, I noticed it's really hard to see Paper uh, because of the very dark background on this stage. I'm going to ban Carlos against uh, Gaming Watches from now on. Well, Game, game is bad to start taking people like FD Dracula's Castle. <laughs> okay, well, Paper does lose his first stock to Razo's forward air at the ledge. And as you can see, Razo is forcing Paper to approach. Ooh, good conversion. All right, there's oh, the 59% oh, from turnips conversions. Yeah, but right there, Paper went for the down smash, got the tip of it, but Raza wasn't on the ground, so instead he went straight up and actually almost lost his stock even to that. Mm -hmm. What a reversal we see from these two players. It's, oh, dropping really low, and Paper getting caught with by the parasol. But, of course, invulnerability <laughs> is going to allow him to just shark out Raza. Thinking you're safe out there? Not today. Yeah, and that was a great use of the upbeat. It looked like Raza was really comfortable being that far out, thinking he was safe. Fortunately... Uh, fortunately for Paper, he does have plenty of rift with the parachute afterwards. They can make it back. Oh, approaching with judgment. Okay, up B. Only gets one hit of the Nair. Not really able to do much with that. But throwing out a couple of pieces, a couple of breakfast. Alright. Dom um, looks to follow up the uh, forward air with the up B actually. Razo just keeps Paper off stage, throwing these turnips down just to, you know, if not for nothing, just to scare him. <laughs> oh, that quick back air coming from Razo, and that's going to put Paper on his last stock here in game two. Ooh. Okay, and we see the patient game coming out from Razo. He knows he's ahead, and just like in any game, or any fighting game, whenever you're ahead, you don't, you don't have to uh, approach. You don't have to do anything. Yeah. You know, it's on... Uh, the job is on the person who's behind to really make the comeback, not you necessarily go. for you opening up for them. That's right. Nair connecting. Now, ooh, going for an up smash. Looking for some type of float inward, but Paper not really catching anything. Okay, couple of down airs. Oh, uh, ooh, it's directional fine. air dodge. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, you are able to directional air dodge even after using the up B. Hey, up smash is looking for these up smash like a Mario character. Yeah, but Lazo playing it patiently, not letting him have it, actually failing straight through the shack. That's very interesting. He just absorbed all the projectiles and still hit paper. Down smash, sour spot, going to kill off the top, actually. 
Well, Raza was at a very high percent. I'm more impressed with the auto cancel that we saw in the down air. Oh, oh. reflecting Mr. Saturn right back. Oh my god. <laughs> I, this is trying to be kind of scary for Raza. He has to get himself out of disadvantage. Paper just keeping him above him with these up airs, not letting him land, back and forcing him off stage, and now he's already down to 8%. The down air not going to spike. Oh, but whiffing the most crucial punish. We saw the, the bomber coming out from Raza, and Paper just barely oh. whiffing, and that's going to cost him the game. Yeah, landing forward air is going to do the trick. Uh, paper right there, try a dash attack, catch Raza's landing, but Raza was just stalling long enough in the air to get the fair out instead. Yeah, but Paper was able to bring it back. Yeah, that started to get really scary for Raza. And now we're going to a game three. He, he was very fortunate he had such a lead before that combo started for Paper. I mean, it really came down to just keeping up the pressure at the ledge and catching Raza's options while he tried to approach, or just try to recover to the left side of the stage. Just one mistake is all it took. got going on over there what you're, you doing you're what you doing you're in there it's what no i'm not I'm, well actually i am but i'm everywhere everywhere all right game three <laughs> is these two characters gonna switch characters no <laughs> no what you know they're no the farthest change we could see is Razo going peach instead of daisy that's the only change we were gonna see from these two but not going to be the case here daisy staying well, this whole get set here. Go into the nair. Going to be some quick damage onto Razo, but Razo answering back with a two-piece combo of his own. Yes. Oh, I like the tomahawk from Paper into a nair. And there's that ejection button again, coming in clutch for Paper. Seems like Razo's expecting to get these just like easy conversions, back, especially from these throw combos, but Paper just immediately gets out of those situations and even tacks on a little bit of damage along the way. Right, going for these pokes with his down air, but it's not going to make a difference. Razo and Paper both trading hits blow for blow with each other. Yeah, if I'm Paper, I'm gonna be a little bit more careful about the way I space that chef because uh, we did see Razo just completely nullify all the projectiles and still hit Paper in the same move. Yeah, it looked like Razo was actually hitting the projectiles on purpose to extend the hitbox, keep it la keep a lasting forward air out there forever, basically, so he could punish Paper. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like he's starting to respect it a little more, saying, you know what, I don't need it, I'll just wait. Ooh, okay, dash attack, gonna whip, but Razo not able to punch with the backhand. We see the ejection button coming in clutch. That's gonna be the MVP for Paper, but dash attack does connect. That's not fair. <laughs> That's actually not fair. People want to say Peach is like one of the best characters in the game. Yeah, I would say that. I would definitely say that. <laughs> yeah, another other man in a whiff. Paper really just looking for his his kill confirmed. Oh, I actually like that little mix up right there with the turn, but run off forward air, almost kill off the side, and there's the early stock right there with the booty bomb. Mm -hmm. And of course, with the addition of Rage and uh, just the the uh, Daisy Bomber being so powerful and a kill move, which is wow, it's a great combination yeah, and, and formula to take a stock very early. Yeah, especially with how light Game & Watch is. You know, always been one of the lighter characters in the series. This game is no exception. He has to fight an uphill battle here, but that up smash is the first step. Now Raza attacking on another dash check and another Ooh. bomber to take the set. Yeah. And pretty solid two stock right there for Raza finishing it out. You know, great adaptation. The first two games will seem really difficult for him, but calm, cool, and collected on game number three, and that's going to do it. Wow. Well, Raza able to clutch out game two, a very important game.